Hello YouTubers! It's been a while since I've had a couple reports and a bunch of videos, but uh, I'm not going to do the doom and gloom report anymore. I'm too depressed. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on at a faster rate than ever before in history. I keep up on news as best as I can. I listen to Mike Savage. I listen to endtime.com. I listen to Satan's Rapture. That's just a few really good sites you can go out there and listen to. I can go to Nisia too, Northeast Ministries up here in New York State. They're a good ministry too to also listen to. But I'm going to actually have a new report I'm going to start. And uh, this is going to be dedicated to the United States of America. I love my country and everything. But this country is falling. And I'm warning you now, don't love the world and the, and the, uh, and the, uh, the delicacies of Babylon because she's the mother of all harlots and every evil spirit and every foul bird. But, you know, I just wanted to read this to the Bible. This is what the uh, the people of the Babylon, we have to come out of her. Come out of her, my people, just like it says in the book of Revelation. But I'm going to read this from John, though. This is uh, leading into it, and this is part of it. Um, Do not love the world or anything in the world. This is John 2, 15, verse 15. Anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For everything in the world, the cravings of sinful men, the lust of his eyes, and the boasting of what he has done, comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but the man who does the will of God lives forever. Warning against the Antichrist, dear children, this is the last hour, and as you heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come, many idols, you know, like Babylon does, putting idols before God, pagan uh, worship, Constantine, Christmas tree and stuff. This is how we know it is the last hour. They went out from us. But in Timus, they did not really belong to us, for if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But the going showed that none of them belonged to us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and all of you know the truth. I do not write to you because you do not know the truth, but because you do know it, because no lie comes from the truth. Who is the liar? It is the man who desires that Jesus is the Christ. Such a man is the Antichrist. He denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever acknowledges the Son has the Father also. See that what you have heard from the beginning remains in you. If it does, you also will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he promised us, even eternal life. I am writing these things to you about those who are trying to lead you astray. As for you, the anointing you received from him remains in you, and you do not need anyone to teach you. But as the anointing teaches you about all things, and as anointing is the night, not counterfeit, just as it has taught you, remain to him. So, you know, we, we clearly are living in the end times. I mean, you know, I love sports and stuff, but anymore, all I want to do half the time is fast, sleep. I just, I just don't feel like living anymore, and I'm not afraid, actually, if I were to die in my sleep or something, because... I, I just in time, yeah, I never commit suicide or anything, but I feel strongly today that the word, world, uh, world is at hand. I mean, I was watching something today, and I can't believe this. Uh, first, the blood corporations who don't give a fuck about you or me, period. I don't care uh, if they don't like this video or not, because they're not going to censor me, you know, and I'm going to fight right to the end, even if it, it, it leads to my beheading, you know, for dying for God, you know, in the word of Jesus Christ, the testimony of Jesus. Because, you know, there's uh, no doubt though that we're in the end times, and I and I mean, you know, they're charging our troops. I heard now the uh, industries a hundred dollars for bringing carry-on bags. I heard from Lou Dobbs this morning, which is a crock of shit. I mean, who wants to defend her anymore, America? I mean, we're the nation that stands for abortion. We stand for homosexuality, bestiality. They're trying to enforce hate crimes here. The police state, the One World Order, Arkansas. And, you know, I heard about that town recently. They declared uh, martial law in this one town. I mean, they passed curfews in Connecticut because of violence and stuff. I mean, cover-ups, you know, the war in Iraq. You know, Bush is a fucking hypocrite, you know, saying he doesn't think Russia has a right to go in to, uh, and, and defend, uh, what's their name, uh, Georgia. And clearly, you know, they got it done in five days, what the Soviet Union wanted to do. And, you know, if Bush wanted to, and the Bushwhackers, it's because of mercenary contractors and the Zionist elite that are over in Iraq banking off our boys uh, who are getting killed over there, making money. If he wanted to, he could have went over there and uh, 
got the job done too in five days and I mean you know this place is a place of slavery period and I mean look what they did to the Indians years ago too I mean we drove them out of this country and stuff to the, 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 the real children of Israel and you know us, us people who are poor folks know exactly what's going on it's slavery the rich get rich and the poor get poor I've seen it everywhere I go I was in Walmart the other day I very seldom go there anymore it's a terrible place because the uh, outsourcing of American jobs and more power to foreign countries, China and Russia. But they actually, for extra large clothing now, they actually charge an extra two dollars. So basically, if you fat, they say you're a bum and this and that, you know. And it's just, you know, violence. The world's so violent. And that's why in John, or verse 15, or verse 2, no, no, yeah, John 2nd, second, no, 2nd second John, excuse me, verse 15 is what I meant to say. That's why it says do not love the world because everything in it is clearly wicked. I mean, you know, men are wicked, you know, people not loving one another, you know, and not enough love to go around. And I mean, the system in general, America, if you think of it, because when you go to school and stuff, they teach you from the time that you're a kid, especially these days anymore, that in order to do, do this and do that, you got to have a good education, you got to get educated of the world and of uh, manly things and basically ignore God. You know, that's why they teach secularism, you know, be, be diverse, you know, they like to divide you. And it's all part of the slave system, and I'm starting to realize this. And I mean, I don't have a lot of money. I, I myself, have worth about five to six K. But, you know, and I mean, I just am starting to feel that I need to sell as much stuff as I have to right now, get a little extra money, and just flee this nation, because I think a lot of the church is pretty soon, and it's going to be exposed. I think the tribulation, my, myself, I'm really starting to wonder. I'm 55th and I was raised with the idea that there's a pre-tribulation rapture. But I'm starting to think that they're for the, the uh, true uh, worthy Christians of the church of Philadelphia and the two raptures. But I'm starting to think that there isn't, I have to tell you, because there's so much stuff un, uh, unfolding right before our eyes, prophecy-wise, with the book of Zechariah and Ezekiel, you know, Russia making the move down south, you know, towards Israel, the first country that makes the move. And of course, you know, they got nukes pretty much at the U.S. If we pretty much do anything, our country's pretty well finished. And uh, another thing, sign that, uh, of our country being finished too is the stock market, which the Jewish Zionists and the Rockefeller big banks will never tell you. But uh, uh, that's a, another example of us living in the end times because, you know, they want to fool the American public and then crash the economy so nobody has anything. And, and when that happens, I guarantee you there'll be murder here in the streets and, you know, there'll be fire in the streets of Babylon because it's prophesied in the book of Revelation. I mean, just read it and you know we're clearly finished I mean I've seen tons of stories recently too also the Greyhound incident in Canada where this supposed Muslim Chinese immigrant this illegal alien there stabbed this one uh, guy and held up his head in the name of Allah although the news didn't report that pretty much the part with the Allah because they're afraid to till uh, uh, radical Islam that they'll uh, what's it called uh, to defend radical Islam, the Wahhabites, which is a very small section of uh, Islam. I mean, the United States in general now, too, is just being taken over by radical Islam. I mean, the women are so suppressed. I mean, I've seen tons of them recently. They wear those scarves and veils, you know, and uh, everything. And, you know, they believe in Mohammed and all kinds of shit and suppressing the women. I mean, they're taking over the United States, clearly. I mean, every gas station you go to, there's tons of Arabs and stuff. And, I mean... Also, they're using the uh, fairness doctrine, people like Pelosi and uh, Harry Reid, I'm not scared to, to attack them or nothing, trying to use the fairness doctrine to censor our free speech. But another sign, too, is the Beijing crisis, too, recently, you know, American tourists getting killed. Just heard in Guatemala the other day, too, another incident, that this guy had a pitchfork and machete and was, uh, killed this one guy and the one wife was injured severely in Guatemala, just this tribal warfare, I mean, People just don't love one another. And I know, in general, when I drive on the road, people just want to run you over. Like, even when you merge into lanes and stuff the other day, I go very slow. I'm a very modest driver myself. I usually don't go any faster than 55, max 60 on the highway. And, uh, you know, people just are such in such a hurry. They don't love you anymore. It's all about money. I have... I tried to reach out to some girls. I've never been on a date recently, and it just doesn't work for me. I'm a true person of uh, God. I tell you, for some reason, I just uh, I've never been able to get women. And I realize too that a lot of women, especially my age group, the, uh, the 80s generation and the generation Y, 
we tend to be very materialistic because we're the technology age. And I know, and I'm warning people just who are in their early 20s too also, to start uh, reading the Bible more and to get out of the culture of Babylon because they use video games and all kinds of other stuff to brainwash you, pornography, and I still have a problem with porn. But, you know, I'm just telling you, I'm going to talk about some of these news articles that I mentioned here, but we clearly are in the end times. The Russia-Georgia conflict, they want to go to war with Iran, and the 08 elections might be canceled. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. This is going to be the fall of Babylon, part one uh, news report. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.